So what we're going to show today is how to restore an implant using the MIS Complete Prosthetic Set, or CPS. Since it's a 6 millimeter diameter implant, we're going to be using the Wide Platform Complete Prosthetic Set. We've chosen the one that's 1 millimeter collar height. What that means is that the included abutment has a 1 millimeter collar. Each Complete Prosthetic Set also includes the abutment level analog, a snap-on plastic impression coping, a comfort cap, and a burnout plastic for the lab to use. In this case, since it's a single crown, we're going to use a red anti-rotational plastic. So, the first step in the process will be to remove the cover screw from the top of the implant. We're going to be using our .05 inch hex driver, just like the one that's in our surgical kit, to take off the cover screw. Next, we will place the abutment using the same driver and the included screw. It is recommended to keep the flat side of the abutment towards the buckle wall. Once the screw is tightened in, put down the seat, the plastic impression coping on the top of it. Notice that there is a flat side on the inside of the plastic that corresponds to the flat side on the abutment itself. Therefore, it will only fit in one direction. So you seat it gently first and then spin it until the flat sides line up and you'll find that it drops into place and remains there. Now it's in place and we're ready to take the impression. We fill the impression tray with the impression material. and place it down over the plastic. And we wait for it to harden. So after waiting for the impression material to harden, we're going to remove the tray along with the plastic, which you'll notice remains inside the impression material. We'll now Put on the comfort cap. It's recommended to use a little bit of temporary cement to keep it in place, but in this case we'll just show that it fits down. Again, there is a flat side on the inside which corresponds to the flat side on the abutment, so when they line up the plastic will drop all the way in place. There is also an arrow on the top which indicates the flat side. Meanwhile, we'll be sending the impression material and the analog and the burnout plastic, the remaining pieces from the complete prosthetic set, to the lab. We'll show here that the analog is inserted into the plastic piece, as always aligning the flat side so that it will fit into place. From here, the lab will create an, a stone model where the abutment level analog protrudes in the same manner that the abutment is in the patient's mouth. The lab will connect the burnout plastic to the top of the abutment analog where they can modify it as we're kind of demonstrating here. The plastic can be trimmed away or added to or, um, and then burned out after investing it to create the final crown, which will then be sent back to the dentist, who has the patient come back in to place the final crown on top. All this information is shown inside the step-by-step -step brochure number two, as well as in the user manual, which is included in each prosthetic set.